Year for me, it's probably I'm kind of gonna probably have about another three years left, and hopefully coming into my peak now this year, going up to London. And uh, I had a good year last year, came sixth in the world, so it's looking good for London, and kind of well into preparations now, four weeks in, so it's it's going it's going okay, yeah, so far. Hard work now, hard graft. Uh, we have bat home and away, um, you know, in a couple of weeks' time. So um, you know, big side, big tough side, and. Um, you know that we have them in the Viva here and then back over there to the wreck so it'll be um, it'll be a massive game for us we're, we're top of the group at the minute but um, a long way to go in this competition and it's, it's never easy you know um, as, as you've seen the first weekend or two with some of the results that that, that were uh, shock results maybe you know we've, we've enjoyed the last few weeks uh, obviously it's been a monumentous occasion for us and it's been so long since it's been in Dublin and um, we've really enjoyed it and I know we're going away on a little team holiday now for a couple of weeks and then once we get back after Christmas uh, we'll be straight into it and we'll be wanting to go at it again and we'll have to do that bit extra next year to try and hold on to it. You know, Teams will know, know what we're about and we want to do a little bit extra to hold on to it. We're here just to highlight really the true contribution of sport to Ireland. I think traditionally you know, there has been quite a narrow view of just what sport does. We tend, I think, as a, as a population, maybe the media and government too, to get kind of caught up in the on-pitch activities, be it kind of the, the community matches we see in our locality or the bigger games in the RDS or the Aviva or Crow Park. And we forget, I think, that sport actually has a huge contribution to the economy, to tourism, to our health. Um, and to the brand, to brand Ireland both at home and abroad. And, and we feel that sport has a real role to play both in the economic recovery of Ireland and also in restoring our confidence as a people, both here and the reputation of Ireland overseas. Even from my own point of view, I have to, I train in Germany um, because I don't have the facilities available here for me to train. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not nice to have to kind of leave your country to go and, uh, and train properly. So I really, I just really hope in the, that for in the future, the kids that are, you know, training, especially for events like high jump that they have, the investment is there and put into the structures so that they can, they can stay in their own country and train in your community, you want kids out playing sports, you don't want them in watching TV but playing the computer, you want them out healthy sport, playing sport and, and that, that's what uh, this success brings and all sport bring, brings a certain amount of that and I think it's huge for local communities and for the wider Dublin area, you know. You know, the message from, from myself would be to, you know, really have a look at the facts uh, and figures I suppose that this, this, this sport has generated over the past couple of years, you know. Um, it's a massive part of Irish culture, I think, and it's, it's a thing that really has to be looked after and maintained and improved on, if anything, um, you know, instead of taking away, maybe add some to it. And, you know, to, you can even see from, the, let's say, the World Cup, for instance, that's just, that's just rugby, but, you know, in other sports, how, how much of a lift it gives to the country, how much of a smile it put on people's faces, and, you know, that's what's needed nowadays.